Oh wow, look at this, an innocent looking base. I might be able to get some free loot. Oh, maybe not. Oh, what's going on? I think I've been trapped. Hey, Ratsmark, you fell into my trap. <laughs> now I'm going to show you exactly how to build this trap. You're going to want to start with a triangle airlock and then off of that you want two squares and that will be by three square. So basically this is a two by three with an added triangle airlock and an added triangle to place your TC in in this loot room here. I've attached a diagram in case you have any trouble figuring out this base blueprint. Once you have the base built, you want to go outside and place four solar panels on the roof. The walls around the solar panels are optional in case you want to stop people from being able to see them and destroy them. After you have done that, you want to use three root combiners to take all four inputs of the solar panels into the battery. If you don't know how to use root combiners, there will be a video linked in the description titled How to Use Root Combiners. I've got the output of the battery going into this switch so that when I'm not using everything, power is not used. Now as you can see I've set up my auto closed doors and I'm about to explain exactly how that works. Okay let's go from the top again. Power comes from the solar panels, through the root combiners, into the battery. And then I take the power from the battery into this main switch here. From the battery it goes into the electrical branches. If you don't know how electrical branches work, there will be a video linked in the description. We then branch off 5 power into our memory cell power input. Then that power gets passed out into our door controller. As you can see on the other side of the wall is a door controller which also passes through to the other door controller. The reset toggle is being powered by the heartbeat, breath, humidity and footstep detector, which is on the other side of this wall. This takes power from the electrical branch and passes it through to the door controllers in the reset position on the memory cell which keeps the doors in the open position until someone gets near this sensor. If you'd like to know more about how these work, there will be a video in the description titled How to Use HBHF Sensors. Then sending power to the set position on the memory cell is this switch that also gets its power from an electrical branch. When this switch is triggered, it sends power to the set toggle on the memory cell which sets the whole trap back up to be reused again. Now I'm going to show you how the Tesla traps work. We are branching off 66 power through this electrical branch right here. Each Tesla trap requires 22 power to work. We feed it into this switch here and then into a splitter. The splitter would divide the maximum input by 3. Tesla traps need 22 power to work. So 66 power divided by 3 means each one of the splitter's toggles is sending 22 power to a Tesla coil. There's one Tesla trap hidden here, one Tesla trap hidden here, and one hidden here. Now whenever we flip this switch, all three Tesla traps will receive 22 power, which is the minimum to make them work. I'm now attaching a diagram of the circuit I use so that if you have any trouble you can follow it and hopefully it will help. That's going to be all from me today. If this video helped you in any way please consider dropping a like, a comment and maybe even subscribing. Also check out the video linked at the end here if you want to know everything you need to know about batteries in Rust. Until the next one, peace.